Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, my name is Sergio Arispe. I work with the Business Automation Workflow Support Team. Today I will be discussing how to reconfigure the BPMN event emitter to disable the generation of dynamic event framework events. This will essentially stop events from arriving into the monitor destination queue that was created using this enable BAI.py script. Here we're looking at the IBM Knowledge Center document on installing and configuring the BPM and event emitter. Um, from step two, we can see the process um, to install and configure the event emitter is fairly simple using the command as shown. Unfortunately, there's no command shown here that tells us how to disable this event emitter. So here I'm going to sh I'm showing you the command being run on a Linux environment. We can see that a queue destination monitor destination was created um, and a bus bpm.bpm.bus along with other configuration information. Let's go to our WAS admin console to see where we can access this queue information. From the left hand side, we expand service integration and click on buses. We will click on bpm.bpm.bus and click on destinations. Here we want to click on the next page and scroll down to find the monitor destination. Click on the queue points under message points. And here we can see the monitor destination with the current queue depth. We can see the messages by clicking into this monitor destination and clicking on the runtime tab. To see the messages, we can click on this messages under additional properties. And we can verify that we're currently receiving messages um, I can run a quick sample that will generate a few more DEF events using the Web Process Designer Inspector tool. And this is just a very simple model that will create some events for me. So going back to our Web Sphere application server, when I click refresh, I should see new messages in my queue. Okay, now we'll delete all of the events and show you how to configure so you no longer receive events in the queue. So I'm going to go click back to my monitor destination. And I'm going to clear the box um, for send allowed in my general properties. Go to the bottom of the page and click OK. I'm going to save this to my master configuration. And then I'm going to run another instance of the model I just showed um, to create more messages and refresh to see that I no longer am receiving the messages. So let me go back to this monitor destination. Verify I have zero messages still. Q depth is zero, zero, and zero messages. So running one more instance of this. Delete this, run another instance. And back to my Worcester application server, refreshing just to make sure that I'm not receiving any other messages and I'm done. So I will no longer receive messages. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.